Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I'm trying something new with this little mini mic, so if it sounds like shit, I apologize. I'm just testing out different like microphone methods because I know what I like for ASMR, but I don't know what I like for vlogs. So anyway, hi, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful December. Today I am bringing you my last book haul of 2023. You know, that one quote that's like, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened, because don't worry, there will be more book hauls and shopping vlogs in 2024. I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble, do some book shopping, and I also have some books ordered on Amazon that we're gonna be unboxing. But before we get into the unboxing, let's go back a few days before and go to Barnes & Noble. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we're starting in the car, which I'm currently heating up because it's fucking freezing. I am a, in a bit of a reading slump and I feel like I'm just kind of in a rut and I really wanna like diversify my books for the end of the year, for my December TBR. The year is coming to an end. We only have a few more weeks left to read some books. And so I just wanna go and pick out some fresh new books. It's been so long since I've gone to Barnes and Noble and just gone crazy. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go to one that's a little bit further away because the one near me, it's just not the vibe, you know? There's like certain Barnes and Nobles have different vibes. Do you know what I'm? You know what I mean. If you know, you know. Anyway. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> All right, here we go. like they have pretty decent selection of indie books doing some browsing but i literally have no idea what i'm looking for i like this cover we are doing damage damage is being done we did it to casual $90 in there. I got six books, so I think that's pretty successful. I think now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna order some books on Amazon because I do have a gift card and I'll wait for those to come and then we'll just do a big unboxing, unpackaging haul at the end of this video. So I'll see you in a few days when my packages arrive. Okay, it has now been a few days later. Most of my Amazon packages have arrived and I have all my books that I got at Barnes and we're gonna do a little unboxing haul. Oh my God, my voice. <clears throat> oh, let's start with unboxing them because it feels like Christmas. I'm so excited. Okay, first package has two books and I'm not gonna lie, I did already open these and I might have already started reading both of them. Look, what can I say, I'm crazy. First book is Off to the Races by Elsie Silver. This is the first book in her first ever series. I actually think this is her debut novel and it is a small town romance. I'm about like 60 pages in. I'm currently reading it. How cute is my little cowboy hat bookmark with the cowboy romance. There's a lot of horses, very, very small town. I love Elsie Silver's writing so much and I love the Chestnut Spring series as you might be able to notice. So I'm so excited to hop into her other series and so far I'm loving it. And then the other book in here is one that I actually pre-ordered months ago because when I found out that Bloom was publishing these books, I was so excited because I'd heard amazing things from a lot of my favorite YouTubers. And it sounds like right up my alley, found family, romance, and I've been wanting to read them, but I was not about to buy those huge self-published editions with the tiny little minuscule font. If you know, you know, it is Binding 13 
by Chloe Walsh. This is the first book in a YA romance series following a group of rugby players in Ireland and it just has amazing reviews and finally Bloom published it. They managed to make it like 600 pages which I think is pretty reasonable. Most of the time you see this book it looks like a bible. It's a brick but it's actually a really big book and the font is not small. So, so happy that I pre-ordered this and it arrived, it released. So I also, the second this came and I started reading it, I'm only like a chapter in, I went and I ordered the next three. So those are on the way, but they're not in this haul. Next, I have no idea what's in this one. Okay, that was anticlimactic. There we go. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Okay, this is Here With Me by Brooke Montgomery. I have not heard much about this. I only got this recommendation from Steph Borer, I believe. It's an indie small town ex-boyfriend's dad romance. And I love me an ex-boyfriend dad like taboo trope. I just think it's like hilarious. And she said that this one's actually like really, really swoony and cute. So I'm excited. You can tell I'm in my small town romance era can you? And the last Amazon package. That means I know exactly what book this is. This is a book that I have had my eye on for so long. I'm so excited. I'm such a fan of Harley LaRue and their writing. This is the Souls... Oh, it's Trilogy. Sorry. Oh my god, I thought it was a duology. My bad. The Souls Trilogy by Harley LaRue. The first book is Her Soul to Take. So I just bought the first one. If you don't know what this series is about, it is demon, paranormal, dark romance. And this one in particular is in between Leon and Ray. So Ray, I believe, is a ghost hunter. And she accidentally summons Leon, who is a demon. And I'm into it. I don't know if it's just me, but every time I hear the name Leon, I can't help but think of Leon Kennedy. And like, I'm into that, like picturing Leon Kennedy, but like if he was a demon. Okay, now let's talk about the books that I picked up when I was at Barnes. Let's start with the romances. We have the one and only holiday Christmas themed romance that I have purchased this year. I don't know why. I'm not the biggest fan of like Christmas movies. I'm very particular about my Christmas music. If you want my Christmas playlist, which is the best Christmas playlist, uh, let me know and I can share it with you, my Spotify link. I just, Christmas media is not my favorite. I do like the holiday, but I'm a little bit skeptical about how much I will enjoy Christmas romances, holiday romances. So I just decided to buy one instead of like getting a whole bunch and then not reading any. The one that I just hear really great things about that seems the most intriguing based on the plot is A Merry Little Meet Cute by Julia Murphy and Sierra Simone. This I'm pretty sure is like spice with a plot essentially, but it's mostly spice, which I'm here for that. It's about B. Hobbs, who is a adult entertainment worker, you know? So she stars in adult films, if you know what I'm saying, and she is plus size and she's just hot and owns her sexuality and we love that. She gets hired to star in a Christmas movie and the lead of this Hallmark-esque Christmas movie that she's going to be starring in is a washed up boy band who kind of has like a, a bad reputation now and is trying to like repair his reputation and, and come back in the spotlight. They uh, instantly have sparks and he actually recognizes her from her adult movies and I just think that sounds so fun and spicy and just silly like a hallmark movie but like all about spice i did get a physical copy of love theoretically by ali hazelwood this is her most recent release in her like steminist adult romance series the third one i loved love on the brain so i hope this one will do it for me i know it's like fake dating but she's fake dating his brother so i think that's really fun it's like a twist on the trope and Ali Hazelwood just knows how to write good smut. It just, it gives me like 2014 energy, but like in the best way. So anyway, I also have this on audio. And then the rest of the books that I got at Barnes are all thrillers because I really just am on a thriller kick lately, trying to again step out of my typical genres of 
fantasy, fantasy romance, and romance. So I picked up four, four thrillers. I don't know why I like double checked. Like, girl, you're a college graduate. If you can't count to four, we need to reevaluate. First thriller that I got, I mean, this is like TikTok's beloved, TikTok's favorite thriller, The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. I have heard everyone say that if you like Verity by Colleen Hoover, then you will like this. And I loved Verity by Colleen Hoover. It's the only Colleen Hoover book that I like, that I recommend, that I gave five stars. So I have high hopes. I feel like it's going to be twisty and fun and like perfect for me. But I also am kind of going in it with like low expectations because it is like a book talk beloved. But it is pretty short and the font is like pretty big. And yeah, it's about a housemaid who starts working with this family and she kind of starts falling for the husband and notices that the wife is a little bit strange and that the lock on her door in the room that she's staying in, in their house, uh, only locks from the outside in. I'm into it. I'm ready. I've never read a Frida McFadden book and I feel like everyone loves her for just a good, fun, twisty thriller. And so... That's what I'm in the mood for. Next one I got, this one just sounds so interesting. Ever since this released, I've just like heard about it in passing and I can't get it out of my head. So I was like, girl, just buy it, like buy it. It is Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian McAllister. Now, why this stuck, stood out to me so much is because it kind of revolves around like time traveling a little bit. So it follows this woman who wakes up one evening and she sees her 18 year old son murder somebody. Okay. Just like witnesses this happen and then goes, you know, stuff happens, goes to bed. When she wakes up thinking it's the next day, it's actually the day before. So time starts moving in reverse where day by day it's going back in time. And this mom is trying to figure out why her son was murdering this person and if she can stop it. And that just sounds so fucking interesting. So it was in Reese's book club, apparently. But yeah, again, another author that I have not read from, but I've heard a lot about. So exciting stuff. Then we have another like booktube classic. This was on the buy one get one 50% table with the housemaid. It is Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. I just, I haven't heard much about this author or this book other than apparently everyone says it makes them like disgusted and like disturbed and like it's really twisted. And I really do, I'm like waiting for a thriller to like shock me. So I picked it up. Um, all I know is it's about a woman who... Her daughter goes missing and then like 10 years later she starts dating this man and she meets his daughters his kids and his youngest daughter looks just like her daughter like uncannily looks like her missing daughter and that's all i know and the last book that i picked up i have heard no one talk about this this was just one of those like i was perusing all the random books on the shelves and I read the synopsis and it sounded really really interesting. This is Enchanted Hill by M Emily Bain Murphy and this is about a aspiring private investigator named Cora who gets hired to investigate this Gats Gatsby-esque man who throws these lavish old Hollywood parties in his mansion. Uh, she's trying to investigate and like dig dirt on him in his house when she runs into this man named Jack. And she knows who Jack is, his real identity, but he is posing as someone else. And so in order to stop Cora from exposing Jack's true identity, he agrees to help her discover what's going on with this man. So it's like, got that Gatsby 1920s mystery with a side of romance. It says it's like pretty heavy on the romance and it sounds fun. I'm into it. You know me, I'm a sucker for Gatsby and this just sounds like a blend of everything that I like. There we go. Those are all the books that I bought and that's pretty much 
what is going on my TBR for December. So if you want to see reading vlogs for any of these, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my videos this year. It truly, truly means the world to me and I hope you'll stick around and watch more of my hauls and shopping videos in 2024. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Bye!